hello everyone so in this particular video we are going to see about the view in a sql and this is a important from a interview perspective and from a sql advanced perspective so first let us try to understand what is view okay so view is a like a virtual table which we create based on a one or more table okay let us try to understand suppose you have a two table one is the employee table and the second is the department table okay now you want to get the whole employee information so what you will do you will try to join the employee and the department what we will do we will perform a join right for that we will write a query okay so all the time we have to write a joining with the department so instead of doing that what we will do we will create one view in this view it will contain the result set of the result set of the all the employee and the department join okay so whatever the query will be there right employee join with the department that query result set will contain this view and it is like a virtual table okay so that is a view i hope you got it now let us try to understand more the table on which view is created is a column based table so whatever the employee and department table right we have based on that actually we are creating one view so the employee and the department this table actually we will call it as a base table because this view is creating based on that table only okay view doesn't contain any physical space or data okay so whenever you create any table like the employee table the create table and the table in uh, table details and you store the data that contain any space okay similarly in your laptop whatever the data you store right it contain the physical space similarly whenever you create any table it contain the physical space but view view actually refer to the base table right so it doesn't contain any physical space or the data okay it will refer to the base table only so that is the advantage of the view and the four and the main important from the view perspective is like we are used for the security purpose view generally we use for the security purpose for taking example so i have one table in this table what i have i have all the customer information okay and their activity information and their sales information okay now what i want i don't want to give this sales information whatever the columns is available related to the sales which is available into this table i don't want to give it to the user okay i don't want them to to access to the my all the sales column related details so what i will do i will create one view in that in that particular view all the customer and the activity related column i will select customer and the activity related column only i will select i will create one view and this view i will provide it to the user this will view i will provide it to the user so that when they will query they will only be able to see the customer and the activity related details they will not be able to see the sales related details because this is highly confidential that i am thinking okay i am just giving a example okay so from a security purpose also we create a view where only the limited column we provided to the user which is important so that it will be helpful from the security purpose okay so what is view view is a like a virtual table which actually we create based on the one or more table the table on which we view is created is called a base table and view doesn't contain any physical data and view generally we use for the security purpose now let us try to see uh, with the example so that we will be having a better understanding okay so i okay so suppose i have a two table one is the employee table and second is the department table if i will show you the data in employee table i have a employee id name gender salary department and the experience and in the department table i have a department id location and the department name okay so based on that i will try to create a one view first let us see how actually we can create a view and what is the syntax so for creating a view we have a simple syntax create view and the view name you have to give so suppose i am giving any name testing view s and after that you have to write a query after that you have to write a query any kind of the query which you want to write select star from table okay and how actually we can call it as after that once you create a view right you have to call it like this select star from testing view or oh, this is the view you have created right so this is how the syntax for the view now what we will do let us try to create one view based on the employee and the department table and what is my condition i will perform a joining based on the department and the department id but i don't want to so the salary result into that particular view so that is the condition so let me try to create one view create view employee department this is the view name i am giving and after that i will perform a joining select so star from employee join department on employee dot department equal to department dot 
department id okay this is the condition but here i don't want to show all the details i only want to show the employee id i want to have a name i want to have a gender okay so all the column name i will mention and i i want the department id i want the department uh, name okay this only the information i want to store into the this employee department so this is the query i have written here i am joining with the employee with the department okay employee with the department based on the employee uh, department and the department id and this is the all the column okay let me try to execute let me see if any error you can see it got created now if i will show you this employee department right how actually we can query because one view got created so if i will do select star from department id you will be able to see the the result like employee id we have name we have a gender we have department id and the department name okay it doesn't contain any sales now whenever you are providing a user the information right you want to hide the salary information you can directly give it this we can directly give this view instead of giving the whole employee and the department table okay so that is actually use and that is how actually we create a view okay so this is the view we have created and whenever we want we will directly query on this top of this okay now let us see how actually we can drop the view so for dropping a view we have a syntax drop view and the view name so suppose employee department is our view right so drop view and the view name if you will give and if you will execute this view will be dropped now if you will query right you will not be able to see that particular view so let me create one more time this view and let me try to execute so whenever you have to drop any view you can use a drop view and the view name now let us try to understand about the update view in a sql okay suppose i have one table employee one table okay in this employee one this is all the information i have what i am doing i am creating one view employee view and this also contain the all the query result of this employee one okay employee view now what actually i want to show you suppose if you are doing any changes into the base table whether it is reflecting into the view or not so let us try to see okay so suppose if i am doing any changes what i am doing update employee set uh, experience equal to the experience equal to the one years okay i am i am updating all the experience equal to the one years into the employee base table okay now let me show you let me execute okay six row affected now if i show you the base table all the records got updated to the one one years now let us see whether it got impacted or it got affected into the our view also or not now if i will show you you can see in our view also the same result got affected now we can see all the result where experience it is showing the one years okay so whenever you are doing any changes into the base table you are um, child table or whatever the view you have created right there also it will be updated now let us try to update into this base uh, into this view and let us see whether it got updated into the base table or not okay so what i will do i will update into the employee view i will try to update into the view and let's see whether it got updated into the base table or not so i am updating as a 2 years you can see uh, it got affected okay now if i will show you the result 2 years it got affected into the view now but let me show you into the base table okay so you can see in a base table also it got affected okay so what actually happen we have a two types okay one is like updatable view so when actually you are updating into view and it is impacting your base table also that actually we call it as a updatable view and the second is the restricted one okay so uh, what actually happen we try to restrict the access or okay? restrict your access of the view so that if anyone is updating into the view it shouldn't impact the base table so that is also the kind of the permission we can give okay but that is how actually it works i hope you got it yeah that's it in this video thank you